Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I hope you're having a really good day. It is very foggy here today, which is really nice. Can all change. For we, there is a lot of, I'm going to discuss a few ideas on unipolarity and this tree of life, the law of one. There's many people are not ready, willing or able to, to get, to, to even understand intellectually the unity of love, that all is love and that everything else is just an illusion, a temporal experience. And it's very attached to the conflict and the opposition and the ego. But so we just want to love them no, regardless. And so there is a lot of, when we move into this ascension process, we make this intention clear inside of us. Um, th there, is a, there is a whole initiation and purification process that is going on. It's not something that will happen like overnight or, or like it's a lifetime engagement. And for me, it took me a long time to get where I am today, but, but it's... Um, but it doesn't have to take time. It's just a matter of readiness. It's, it's pro the inner process is beyond. It's all about consciousness and truth. So, so it's um, it's about learning. Now it's about applying what you what you, what the, all the knowledge you've accumulated to put it in practice. For also, it is very important to return to the feeling sense of life because when somebody is talking, you have to see if the vibration is a match to the words. So that will be the best guide to know if the, if the if there is truth in the content of what is being said, or is, is it a, a manipulation? For I've done a lot of work last night, I couldn't sleep till a long time. A lot of people, both incarnated and, and people that I knew from the past that are no longer here, they all came to visit me, and it's been a lot of work, so it was very interesting. And so um, for, we are really moving beyond, it's like the, the old 3D sensory world, a lot of things that we used to like, are completely outdated. You can, you can, if you look back five years, ten years ago, you can see that a lot of desires and needs are completely different. We have completely changed our, our needs and desires. And many people have vanished from our life. New people have arrived. New people will arrive. And so, uh, but we still, we are able to reject many things that we used to enjoy that we no longer need. It's, it's becoming more easy. And we're no longer falling into the trap of, uh, of being responsible for something that we don't really need. And we don't, the, all this, this burden of the third, third dimension, we want to eliminate all those burdens or to, to submit to other people's belief. We have to be independent in our thinking process. So it's, it's about that adjusting our consciousness and our daily life for consciousness is all what it's all about for, for we want to we want to um, we want to um, assist the light and, and we want to transmute the darkness and so, so it's like we want to personally I, I support Mr. P and I support Mr. T and I support all of the, the, the people that are working with them anybody that works towards the liberation of humanity is needs to be supported and, and so and please do not compl con consider yourself or call yourself ever again a conspirationist. You're not a conspirationist. The conspiration comes from the, the tyrant, from the satanist, and, and it's all those who try to destroy the world. Those, they are the, so we are anti-conspirationist. So it's far more, because they, 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 that's a trick. They trick you to believe that you are the conspirationist when they're the one who are, who are secretly planning the doom and gloom behind you, behind our back. And, but just send love and light to this program. It dissolves it. Even there are many beings, even I could manage to, to, to shift certain... Um, um, reptilian last night to move to the side of light. I wanted to shift a whole bunch, but it wasn't ready for that. So it just moved. Okay, there was a mistake. So so it's like, but but there is there is certain beings that are ready to, to shift side, and it's very useful to the light to have assistance from that. I wanted to give an exercise also. I spoke to the the, the, the seal of Solomon. It's like the Star of David, the six branch star. Uh, for all symbols, this is a symbol. All symbols are keys that open doors to higher planes, higher consciousness. For now, it's something we can understand intellectually, but at some point we'll be able to use those, those symbols to project our consciousness into other dimensions more and more. So, so we have, we have the, this free access to, to, to truth, to the vertical access, to the alignment of our chakra. So the Seal of Solomon, first we want, we want to use it, these symbols, if you can do this in meditation, and, and make it go through all your, your chakra to align them. And, and then for, the, for this is an exercise that we do here, but after the ascension, we'll use that as a technology we'll still need. We'll, need the, we'll be able to, to solidify all kinds of energetic system. And this is the, it's a technology that was revealed by the Arcturians when they made the ascension that was created by the Alpha Centaurians. It's a, imagine a star of David above your head and another one below your feet. And then imagine 
white light that comes from each of the six uh, six branches and inside the, and, and on the inside as well. So it's like you completely you have this uh, this frame of light that that covers from from the bottom from top to the bottom, and then you put a a, a, a layer of blue light, a silver light, and white light on top of it, and that will completely seal your aura and and give you and be impenetrable for any illusions and also filter all of the light information that comes in so that it can become comprehensible. It is it's an exercise, you may want to practice it if you like. Um, and also I wanted to uh, to say, well, the, we have to issue less warnings to all kinds of people and then they, they're going to have to face the, the consequences of their actions. So gonna, for the, the darkness will all, the negatively polarized being will continue to exist in some form or another in the universe because they, they assist the expansion of the universe. But we still want to clear up this planet. The planet is going through our own ascension. It is really difficult and painful for her for she has a lot to, to transmit. So continue to infuse this love and light. For this, She needs a lot, a lot of love and light in order to create this ascension but she's moving forward with that and um I also want to say, if you have a few symptoms of, of, of uncomfort, it's, it's both an initiation and a purification process. If you do not identify it as a disease because it will be anchored as such, call on the Archangel Raphael or the, the, to, to assist you. If you feel you have a real medical problem, just go see a, prof, a medical professional that can assist you. But... Um, but a lot of it is just uh, very temporary. It is just a transition period. We need to release all. Because when, when we start this ascension, first it's from the intention, but we have to pass through the fourth dimension negative, the lower planes of the fourth dimension, where we transmute all of our fears that we ever had in this life, all the doubts, all the judgment, all the, the, the complex of superiority, of inferiority, all the, the false judgment, all the, the regrets, all the... All of that, and for, for it's like to achieve this, this, the, the higher plane of the fourth dimension, which is a dream state, a beautiful dream, before we can reach the ascension point of the fifth dimension. The, 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 and, and so for that, we, we need to let go of all that is to, to be able to be non-attached to the material world, to be non-attached to any words that has been spoken in the past, and to be non-attached to any images. That's like... a and if, if you want to know, if, you, if you're already in the fourth dimension, it's like, have you ever communicated telepathically with an ascended master? For me, it's like in 1993, the Christ was the one that I communicated with. My guardian angel said, well, just tune your, your consciousness to, to that spirit, that, that master at that time is universal being. So, um, but it was uh, it was on the fourth dimension. It was a seven dimension experience with this incredible light and glory. But um, but, but it's like um, the more you are able to communicate with the higher planes, the higher you you can you can judge, you can have an assess assessment of where you stand in relationship to. If it hasn't happened yet, it will. And there is this um, we're planning for this. Um, Every day there is a new plateau, a new, we are being elevated a little bit every day. And sometimes we feel we're regressing, but we're not. Um, and, um, and this 11-11 portal on the 11 November 11 will be extremely powerful this year. There is really the potential of a collective uh, uh, light body that will be initiated by the planet Venus that will, accept, will ignite. A very powerful uh, transformation for we don't need to wait we do, we're not waiting for that but my, my light body was shown to me on the november 11 1911 and, and that was like amazing but i wanted to go and traverse the universe with it but it, i wasn't allowed it was like no not, you have to stay here it was just such an amazing thing and so the 11 11 will be a powerful portal it's the power of the one and the power of the four the, the angels and so we will. Um, so so this, there is this going to be. Um, but this this is shift is happening in relationship to when we're ready. Huh? It's like it depends on us. So we want to move into this unipolarity to know that everything comes from the one, and we are the one. We all have as light workers. If we're sensitive to this potential of ascension, we descended from higher planes. We we have very long history with God and, and and spirit, and so our relationship is very very old and ancient. And we all have royal lineage. We all come from a different place. We all we all have a different descension, and we all have a unique ascension as well but but it all comes from from this royal lineage and so it's very important to to harmonize the the yin and the yang within ourselves the light and the shadows the the, the positive and the negative the, the the pure and the impure with this part that is lucid and this part that is ignorant within ourselves to achieve this Tao for the third and fourth dimension will remain polarized
but we're hoping for the best. We hope, of course, for all that are still needing to, to experience that. For there is every dimension has some lesson to teach us. Right now, I'm completing my sixth dimension or initiation process to integrate the immortality, my immortality. And so, but in the third and fourth dimension, there has been that are polarized positively or negatively. And so we want to be instead of being positioned negatively to, to get the opportunity to shift towards the positive side. And so we will remain uh, available to, to, to assist them or to, to encourage them in that sense. We do not want to, we cannot interfere in the free will, but we're, eventually we're going to confine all the negative being into their own negative dimension and they'll have to deal with that. For we, have the assist, we have much assistance from on high and there will be second and third waves of ascension as well. For it's about the awakening, transmuting, uh, achieving the enlightenment, eventually the ascension. For us, ascension is a great spiral. Huh? Um, but we're very close to the breaking point, and it will be. Um, and we'll all be happy that we participated in that, even if it is difficult. Sometimes we feel like uh, it's just like we're very tired of this nonsense reality where there is so well lies. It's like the truth is the lie. Um, but but go with the feeling states, and um, for for it is uh, there is there is a. Uh, um, we have to continue to cultivate this uh, our independence in relationship to external condition. It's all about consciousness, because even full consciousness is a very relative term, because only God knows God. So, so we continue to to ascend in this consciousness, and uh, an ascending is the descending is the path of the way shower. We've been doing that for millions, billions of years, and so we continue every time we we're getting more. Uh, up to the point where, where we will we'll, we'll be completely free to, to you know, the, the level of freedom that God reserves us after the once we've learned all the lessons of all those dimensions will be beyond our belief beyond our understanding and um, and so uh, so it's like uh, there will be great rewards for the work we're doing here we don't do it for the reward we're doing because we the love cannot remain indifferent to, to the situations, but uh, but there is no responsibility outside of what the heart is calling us to do. We have to find the right measure, the right balance in things, and continue to love yourself, love one another, cultivate the love, try to, to stay out of the polarity. And so I hope you find this message interesting. I thank you very much for, for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. We, we passed the 9,500 uh, subscribers, which is nice. Uh, hopefully this channel will grow, that more people will be interested by this information about, about this, this ascension process as time goes on. I thank you for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. I want to say also, to just talk some, some, something very 3D. <laughs> it's about the crypto world. I've always heard about crypto. So the crypto, there is a big change right now it's a great shift um, for i think we're going to move into the quantum quantum states uh, a new monetary system that will be backed by gold i hope it's i know it's in place but i hope it will be soon introduced to the forefront of collective consciousness because what is affecting the it has to affect the surface in order to be to be anchored a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes they need to be done, but they don't affect the collective as long as they're not informed that is going, because it's all about consciousness. So personally, I continue to work from within, I work on the inner planes, on the subtle realm. Um, but I wanted to talk about this crypto, um, for there is, there is, um, crypto is, is like a very, very, uh, um, it takes a lot of energy to, you, to, to utilize those monies, those crypto monies. First, it's like just to utilize it, to make any transaction, they made this calculation that it cost about when when average home in the in the Western world consume in one week. One transaction is like one week of electricity by any average home. And uh, the the bitcoins consume uh, every year as much as the whole country of Argentina. When you go to Ethereum, it's like the whole country of Bangladesh. It's a lot of energy. So let do not let them uh, make you feel guilty for using a little bit of energy. We we need to use energy, and, and soon they're going to be releasing free energy. Every country has as uh, top secret uh, defense uh, free energy. But then they, they they will they realize they lose the power and the money when it's released. But they're not going to have a choice. We need this free energy in order to, to balance out the economy and the ecology and so 
Right now, there's a, the Ethereum is trying to to, to reduce its uh, its consumption. They, they're trying to new platform, but it's it's going to create a lot of uh, insecurity on on those platforms because they do not know what's going to happen when they're going to make the shift to that new platform. So so it's like be careful with that. I just thought I mentioned that. For, for there's a lot of change that are coming. We just want to be focused to what is uh, what is essential to us. What what we to pro focus on our own life and to be f to have no fear. To know that there is only joy and love in front of us. If we once we've transmuted our own shadows, we're not transmuting anybody else's shadow. We have transmuted our own shadows, then we are free. And and so. So it is, it is all coming to continue to focus on what is wanted. The more detail you put around the dream, the faster it will come. The more precise we come, the more we accelerate, the more general we go, the, the slow, when it, it slows it down. When you have a problem, don't put details around it. When you have, um, but then when you have a beautiful vision, just enrich it with, with details. Sometimes spirit will tell you no, so just stop that, uh, because it's, it's, it, you don't want to put a detail that prevents something better from coming in. For there is a plan that the soul has and the spirit and the soul and the spirit, God will never impose his own will upon any creature. So it's for us to, to voluntarily to, uh, avail ourselves and choose the, the way that the Creator, what God wants for us, what's the divine plan for us, and we're all participating in this great evolutionary process. Well, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to finish with a song. <clears throat> it's a little song, uh, because there's two songs that keep going through my mind. One is, uh, well, I've seen them quite a few times already. One is the, the Eye of the Tiger of Survival. Survivor. And the other one is The Wind of Change by Scorpion. It's about the, the freedom from uh, the, the, after the Cold War. I'm really eager to, to, um, to, to, do, to start this project that will take me all around the world with every culture. It's going to create a world of peace to, 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 find, the, to find the balance. I, the world will be balanced. And so this song is about somebody who's insecure because he's like he's in love with someone and that creates insecurity within him. It's a song of John Lennon. It's called Jealous Guy. I was dreaming of the past <clears throat> And my heart was beating fast I began to lose control <clears throat> I began to lose control I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry, oh my I didn't want to hurt you, I'm just a jealous guy. I was feeling insecure, you might not love me anymore. I was shivering inside, I was shivering inside, oh, I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry Oh my, I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry Oh my, I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I was trying to catch your eyes Though that you were trying to hide I was swallowing my pain I was swallowing my pain I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry, oh my, I didn't want to hurt you, I'm just a jealous guy, watch out, I'm just a jealous guy, look out baby, I'm just a jealous guy. So we all, everybody makes mistakes, huh? so we have to forgive ourselves, forgive others, that will be a lot easier, so we, we just, uh, we let things go, we don't hold on to anything negative, we don't think about it too much, as, much, as little as we can, we don't talk about it, so we don't reinforce the process, and we focus on aligning our new level of consciousness with our daily activity to put in practice all those things that we've been, we, we've been, um, 
we've been learning. So it is, I hope you, you enjoyed the, this day and I wish you a wonderful time uh, in this continuation of this process. Uh, may all your dreams come true. Be lucky, uh, trust yourself and, and continue to follow your heart. Thank you very much, Adonai.